I'm not sure about you, bro, but the last few months of the year, I ate big. Big tacos, big burgers, big pizza, big pecan pie. And uh, my body, my body paid the price. But now it's the new year and it's time to get focused and take things to the next level. Your career, your confidence, your dating life, and your body. Because from my experience, all of it, it starts with our bodies. When you're in the gym working hard and you're seeing those improvements in the mirror, it just makes it easier to feel better about yourself and take massive action in every other area of your life. And that is why I'm super excited to invite you to take part in the second annual Beastly eight week shred challenge. Over the next 60 days, we're gonna be competing to see who can pull off the best fat loss transformation. And at the end, we're gonna pick the five best transformations and the winners are gonna receive over $1,500 in prizes from Edge Lifestyle Clothing and supplements from my upcoming supplement brand as well. Now the challenge will all take place inside of the Beastly app, the most powerful fitness app in the world. Inside the app, you will gain access to our massive library of workout programs, including the eight week shred program that's been specifically designed to accelerate fat loss in just 60 days. Plus we've developed the easiest macro tracker in the game that not only gives you personalized macros that fit your body and your goals, but it also makes it easy to actually track them. And you're gonna get over 100 easy meal ideas specifically designed to fit your macros. And the best part is right now, you can click that first link down in description to download the Beastly app and start a free 14 day trial. That's gonna allow you to get started with the challenge. And if you're already a member of the app, all you have to do is open up the app to your workout dashboard and you can just click the button to join the challenge now. Last time we had some pretty insane transformations, so I'm super excited to shred with all of you and see the insane progress that we're all about to make. Click that link to get started now and don't hesitate because registration is gonna close in just a few days. I'll see you inside. Let's get this video started. What is going on, bro? Welcome to the video. Today I wanna to talk about how do you get the hot girls? Because I can tell you, there was, there was a long period of time where like I had some success dating, right? Like there were some girls who would show me attention or there were some girls who would agree to go on dates with me, but it was not like the girls who, who I really wanted. It wasn't the high quality girls I thought I deserved. So today I wanna to share with you three things I did to overcome this and finally start dating and feeling worthy of that type of girl. So you guys know that feeling when you're talking to a girl, maybe you're not even talking to her, you just see a girl you wanna to talk to and immediately you're like, yeah, no, R realistically there's, there's no chance I could get that girl. Do girls realize that, they recognize that? Yeah, I think like I, I've made eye contact with a guy or I can tell he wants to talk to me, but he doesn't like have the balls to come up and talk to me. Or if I am talking to a guy, I can like sense that he doesn't think he can get me and then it's like really uncomfortable and awkward. And if I ask myself, why do I or why did I not feel worthy of these girls? I guess it's because I just pictured them with a guy who was more attractive or taller or had more money than I did. Like a girl like that wouldn't get with a guy like me. Uh, but. As I've gotten a lot more experience with girls over the years, I've realized that, of course, looks and money are super important, but what matters more than anything is like, do I actually believe that I can get this girl? The golden rule is that people date other people of similar self-esteem levels. And right now, if you don't have that much true confidence in yourself, that's gonna be the limiting factor in your dating life. And most of the girls you're gonna have access to are gonna be average girls who haven't done that much work on themselves. You know, sure, a few times when I was early on in my journey, I got lucky and, dated a couple hot girls who had low self-esteem, but like, that's not what you want. I mean, I can't speak for you, but that's not what I want because those are always the girls who are flaky, they're passive aggressive, and it's, it's just toxic shit. Luckily, we have a therapist in our presence here. Julia, what's an easy way to start building self-esteem? All right, so I wanna ask you guys something. What are three things that you like about yourself? No, like really, take a second and think about it. We got some time. Now be honest, was that hard? Because if it was, that probably means that you have low self-esteem. It's something that's kind of hard for you to identify. And if that's the case, what you want to do is every morning you wake up, you look in the mirror and you tell yourself three things, three different things you like about yourself. And I know it sounds silly, but this really helps with self-love. For example, you could get out of bed, look in the mirror and say, my haircut's looking fresh today. Like, I, I like that. My, my jawline is looking good. I got a strong jawline. And, and you know what? I'm really proud of myself for working hard 
and, and just getting shit done over the last few months. And if self-love and self-esteem is something you're struggling with right now, I'd also highly recommend you read this book called The Love of Yourself Like Your Life Depends On It by Kamal Ravikant. It changed my life. I'll link it in the description. Bro, workout complete. Am I shredded yet? Did I get shreddy? I think I still got eight weeks to go. If you haven't joined the shred yet, bro, first link in the description. I'll be waiting for you. For now, I'll just put my, my shirt back on. By the way, this is the uh, script. Script tee from Edge. Love this colorway. These are the Origin joggers. Nice fresh ankle fit right there. Little reflective, refractive, reflective logo. So that's too much self-promotion, but this stuff will be launching in a couple weeks. Littering is, not <clears throat> Littering is not cool, I'm gonna pick that up. But I got a question for you. I want you to close your eyes and picture your dream girl, the type of girl that you really want. For me, it was always a girl who was taking care of business in the gym. Dope, curvy body. She got a sense of style. Doesn't matter if she's got her gym outfit on, her chilling outfit, she's going out, always looking on point. Hygiene's gotta be on point, right? If you kiss her, she got that gross breath, I'm out. If you take her back and she's stanky in the wrong places, I'm out. Also, spend some time working on herself so she doesn't got that toxic shit. And you know, I also want her to have passions that she's working towards so she's not just dependent on being around me and needing me all the time. And you gotta think, this is a simple issue of supply and demand. There's not a huge supply of really attractive girls with all their shit taken care of, but there's a really large demand of men who want those type of girls, so inevitably, these type of girls will have their choice of the man they want to be with. And that is why you need to be very real with yourself. Why in the fuck would a girl who could choose between any type of guy she wants, why would she choose you? All right, so let's do a quick attractiveness audit together to see where you're at. First of all, I want you to rate your body one to 10. You know, do you have that lean muscular body that's attractive? Or maybe you got some extra fat that you need to shred. Maybe in eight weeks you should shred it. Maybe you're very scrawny and it's time to hit the gym, eat more calories and put on some mass. No, you don't need to look like a bodybuilder, but be real with yourself. Where are you at? Next, style. When you leave the house and you look in the mirror, do you consistently feel like, yep, I'm looking sexy today? I'd say there's three main areas of style. Gym, casual wear for when you're kind of just chilling, hanging out, and more formal wear. Like think about date nights, for example. Rate yourself out of 10. Whichever those areas you're lacking in, it's time to invest into some new wardrobe staples because that is literally the fastest way to level up your attractiveness. Grooming, do you deliberately get a specific haircut and style your hair in a way that makes you feel more attractive? Speaking of which, I need a fresh cut. Facial hair, if you have a beard or you got some stubble, do you consistently, you know, daily trim above here and below here so that it looks clean? If you're clean shaven, do you keep it actually clean shaven? Literally that small touch can make you look so much more sophisticated and high value. Last, rate your status out of 10. Do you have, you know, a career and a position th that gives you status? And, and if not, are you actively taking steps to change that? Because again, if you're actively working to, to, to do something bigger, girls will definitely reward you for that. Not just like, oh, one day it would be nice to have my own gym. Like, are you actually taking the fucking steps? Rate yourself out of 10. Look, bro, of course the self-esteem and the confidence is the number one priority, but we already talked about that. Anything, any category you rated yourself below a seven, like, it has to be a massive priority for you to start leveling that up yesterday because how do you expect to get high value, high quality girls if you're not a high value, high quality guy? And now, tacos. Pat told us this is the best taco place in Austin. I didn't say best, I said it was pretty fire. I did not say best. The margarita's pretty fire, ooh. I'm gonna eat a lot of tacos, but this is not gonna be a cheat day because Ray, my strategy is always, you can see that all I've had today is two protein shakes and a Transparent Labs 
protein bar. If I know I'm going to eat out, that's always the strategy. Like, stack up the protein, super low calories. Now I can feast. Now it can be had a feast. Dude, you order like four quesadillas. What's a quesadilla? <laughs> that's how you say it in Texas. <laughs> right, let me show you all these tacos. I'm going to have to kind of do this ghetto. It's kind of dark out here. That's the barbacoa beef. She said that's the one. They also got like old school crispy beef tacos as well. Julia! These nation, did you see that? I skidded. <laughs> Those tacos like 7.4. That margarita though. All right, number three, don't make exceptions for hot girls. Like how many times are you in the situation where this girl, like you really like her and you're like, all right, I'm gonna do things differently because I don't wanna mess this up. And then what happens, bro? Like every time you fuck it up. I've been in that situation so many times where it's like, well, like I'll just send the extra text because, because like I, I really want to make it work with this girl. Like I know I probably shouldn't reach back out to her after she was like flakes last minute, but like she's so hot, man. Like I just I got I gotta make it work. You're just gonna be another guy simping over her. Like girls, hot girls get so many guys. Like they don't need you trying to make her feel special or just like being obsessed with her. Yeah. If anything, when everyone goes left, that's when you want to swerve right. Like our girls used to just getting unlimited male attention and being able to get away with anything and then you're the guy who kind of puts her in her place that's what's going to make you stand out if anything like the rules apply even more to the hot girls when you get her phone number set up the date right away don't waste time trying to get to know her like like everybody else if she's being weird over text or she flakes once you set up the date cut contact D don't talk to her anymore don't keep trying to set up the date these girls i can tell you man they're used to people like tiptoeing around everything and being treated l like a queen or a, or a princess and if you just treat them like a normal fucking person because in their perspective in their shoes they're just a normal person like that's what's going to make them actually respect you and set you apart from other guys and they're going to be able to actually like chill and, and be themselves anyway that all being said i hope that that makes sense bro i hope you enjoyed the video if you made it all the way to the end, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't joined the shred yet, come on, bro, it's time to shred. Click that first link in the description. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe and turn notifications on because I drop two new videos every single week and you don't want to miss them. I will talk to all of y'all in the next video. Stay beastly. Hey.